Hey there, thanks for watching. I'm illustrator John McCoy. This is my sixth daily drawing of 2020. I'm doing a drawing every day, and this is my sixth drawing. It's on eight and a half by 11 inch paper, just ordinary paper, um, and it took one hour and 50 minutes to do this drawing from live observation. I went to uh, the riverfront from the Covington side of Cincinnati and began um, sketching out the composition. Uh, this location is right on the riverfront, as I said, and it's right near George Rogers Clark Park, which is in Covington, close to Newport, uh, but it's on, the, it's, in, it's on the Covington side. So uh, what motivated me to do this is my love for Cincinnati. I love Cincinnati. I live just south of Cincinnati in northern Kentucky, um, and a lot of my business is in Cincinnati, um, and I frequent Cincinnati a lot, and I've lived here most of my life, uh, all my life really. <laughs> I don't know why I said most of my life. It actually has been all my life I've lived in Cincinnati. Um, so this is kind of like a little ode to that. And I would like I started out wanting to do maybe Fountain Square or something like that, but Fountain Square was not very sunny, and it's a very cold day today. Um, I don't know if you can notice. My hands are probably a little chapped in the video. It was getting pretty cold by the end of the drawing. By the end of the drawing, I was thinking, yeah, yeah, it's, this is cold. Um, while I was drawing, I had a lot of little visitors, um, not only people, but I, I'm referring to the Canadian geese. There was bunches of them, and they weren't afraid to get, there went one right on the screen just there. I, they weren't afraid to get really close to me as I drew. Um, and then, yeah, one even, I don't know what it was, but something, something dropped something real close to my, to my pencils. Um, and that was kind of scary. There went another one on the screen there, you can see. So drawing this from live observation was a lot of fun. It was a nice, bright, sunny day. Where I was sitting is in shadow, which was nice for the camera lighting. Um, I started out with a layout and then a compositional layout with a light, kind of blocked that in really light with a pencil. Um, this is actually a piece of paper from my car, um, from some former drawing I'd done. I don't know if you saw in the beginning, there was a rough sketch, but I actually drew directly over it because for a moment I had a panic that I'd just driven to this park to draw and forgot my sketchbook. So I didn't have a sketchbook, but I did find that I had paper in my car. So use this eight and a half by 11 sheet. Normally I prefer to use something maybe a little more archival or something like that. Um, but yeah, the Again, I'm using the Prisma colors, and it's a lot of fun doing them. Some of it is detail information I'm putting down, and some of it is color information, and it generally just combines and gives you the overall picture. It gives you the sensation of what you're seeing in front of you. Um, I, I think mainly what was on my mind as I was creating this painting, I'm sorry, this drawing, um, was how cold it was. <laughs> it was super cold, but it was beautiful. The sun was shining directly on Cincinnati, and I was just, it was just really nice to connect with the city in, through drawing, um, and to kind of feel the environment and, um, just reflect on this beautiful city I live near. Uh, one thing I would say I really like about these Prismacolors is I'm learning a lot about color as I'm drawing. I'm learning about how when colors are in shadow, they're generally more desaturated and cooler. Um, and when they're in light, they're generally warmer and more saturated. And the Prismacolors are great for that because the, the whole set kind of has a spectrum and those colors generally mimic very natural colors. So it's great for live observation like this drawing. So um, I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, and if you didn't know, this is filmed with GoPro on this little easel I built at the beginning of 2020. Um, and it's 
this was an hour and 50 minutes real-time drawing, but it's, it's condensed in time-lapse mode on the GoPro Hero 4 Silver, at, and it takes a frame every 0.5 seconds and compiles it into a time-lapse. This one, this drawing, I didn't want to go too detailed. I just wanted to focus on the overall appearance of beautiful Cincinnati. So thanks so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe to the channel.